It's just there are certain things you're sure of, like longitude and latitude. Sam, I don't know if this is the best time to tell you, but according to CJ, I wouldn't be so sure about longitude and latitude. Hey, Jared. Um, I'm on a different bike today because it's my back slash shoulder. It's kind of hurting a bit. So I'm using this bike because you can stand up straight rather than sort of bent over. And uh, uh, this is smoke smell there. People are starting to turn off, you know, on their stoves and stuff. Can we talk about Captain America for a second? Secret Empire started. Uh, which I don't know if you know, but it's Marvel's new event, and these fuckers decided that turning Captain America into a Nazi was a good idea. <sighs> and when people complained, they decided to double down. So now it's like he was always a Nazi, and he was what we thought he was. And he was always a villain, and the Allies loved the World War II. It's a complete disaster. First of all, I'm not going to read it. I'm not a big fan of Marvel's events in the first place. They're fucking annoying. But this is beyond annoying. This is insulting and offensive. It's an insult to Jack Kirby's memory. Because... He was very much anti-Nazi. He killed Nazis. He would have been all for punchy Nazis too. And I can't believe you're doing this to him, to the rest of us. Because there are certain things that, that you're sure of in the world. And Captain America being a hero, he was one of the good guys. I mean, if he's a human, even if you have a heart attack, he's still a hero. <sighs> and now you turn him into poster boy for Hydra, for Nazis, for fascism? Fascism? How do you pronounce it? <sighs> it's fucked up. Yeah.